Two officers in Baytown indicted for aggravated assault face a judge today. What we've learned about this case that dates back to 2019. The Alzheimer's Association now facing a five-figure bill. A closer look at the damage caused by some very determined thieves. Then only on two tonight, criminals use fake IDs to steal luxurious cars. How police are cracking down on this elaborate scheme. But we begin tonight with new developments on the indictments of two Baytown police officers accused of using excessive force. Officers Teddy Sims and Samuel Surrett appeared in court today. They are accused of assaulting Kedrick Crawford in 2019. Our Brandon Walker's live in Baytown with new details on today's hearing and the charges the officer is facing. Brandon. Yeah, Lauren, essentially a first appearance for both of those officers as well a third man. They're all accused of brutally beating Kedrick Crawford right here in this parking lot two years ago today. July 6th, 2019, Baytown police officers questioned Kedrick Crawford, seen here in the white t-shirt. Make sure you're not drunk or something. No, I, 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 I don't know. I'm looking for something. I'm talking about you, man. Sorry. Hey, I'm going to make sure you got the weapon. I'll bet you down real quick. While the officer right, asked man, to do so, why, he asked, is at the heart of this case. When am I free to go? Whenever, man. Whenever? Yeah. Put your hand back. What happened? Something's up, dude. What did I oh, do? freaking drop you. Crawford was charged with aggravated assault on a peace officer, but now those officers face charges for assaulting Crawford. Officers Teddy Sims and Samuel Surrett today appeared in court on a charge of felony aggravated assault. Also charged with aggravated assault is this man, Shane Dunlap, described as a civilian public servant in the indictment. Attorney Greg Cagle represents the two police officers. We just got started. I mean, the case got indicted on Thursday. They turned himself in on Friday. A serious crime had been committed. Attorney so, U.A. Uh, Lewis yeah, represents happy. Crawford and to... says her team pushed to get this case investigated. We reached out to so many agencies trying to get some attention to this crime. I couldn't breathe at all. Crawford says the officers attacked him, and his attorney says video from the other officer's camera better confirms that. Video Baytown police did not release. You can see how Mr. Crawford was actually passed from all three of these defendants around and placed in a in chokeholds and punched. Attorney Lewis underscoring the point that her client, she says, didn't have a criminal record prior to all of this. Meantime, the next court appearance for the officers, as well as Mr. Dunlop, is in October. We're live in Baytown. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.